Health Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark is stepping down from the wholeness-led cabinet for a significant new role. Now, as the nation anticipates the announcement of his successor, Ramon Gordon takes a closer look at this major development. It's like he's playing peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark has made history as the first Caribbean national appointed Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, IMF. That means he's out of the wholeness-led cabinet, expected to assume his new role come October 31. Prime Minister Andrew Holness is expected to announce Dr. Clark's replacement soon, but until then, he's offered best wishes, claiming the appointment as commendation of his administration. No citizen of Jamaica, or the Caribbean for that matter, has ever before served at this level in the IMF. This is a historic and important development in which I take immense pride. The elevation of Minister Clark is demonstrative of the depth, strength, and capacity of my administration. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has already identified Clark's successor, but has chosen not to disclose further details at this time. Instead, he says the focus is on ensuring a smooth transition of responsibilities. We will provide updates in due course, and the public can expect policy continuity and a continuation of the economic achievements that this government has worked so hard to secure. The opposition has also congratulated Clark, hoping his incoming appointment will influence how the IMF treats with small island developing states like Jamaica. At the same time, PNP spokesperson on finance Julian Robinson contends Clark's replacement will have much to do. The first one relates to what I consider to be a hole in the budget, the $4 to $5 billion, which was announced in the budget debate on the securitization of receivables. We don't know the rate. We have no details on that. Secondly, I expect there to be a supplementary budget in September to deal with the expenditures which have arisen as a result of Hurricane Barry. There, there are still a number of unresolved issues coming out of the compensation review. The public sector unions are restive. There are issues around the payment of increments that have to be addressed. So whoever takes over has a full entry of pressing <laughs> issues to deal with. In a release Monday, IMF Managing Director Cristalia Georgieva praised Dr. Clark as an exceptional policymaker with proven leadership in economic management. President of the private sector organization of Jamaica, Metrisiaga, agrees. While some in the business community accept his departure will be a loss, the PSOJ, like the opposition, is holding out hope. Our reserves are high, our inflation is under control, our dollar is stable, and things are moving in the right direction. Yes, it would be a loss in one sense, but I think that Having a Jamaican sitting in the seat of power of the INF is a good thing for us as a nation. I think that once the policies are in place from the government, whomsoever makes up the government, we will be able to find persons who can implement same. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.